Family Movie Reviewing Secret Agent. Today, I will be reviewing a sci-fi comedy film that came out in 1989 that is directed by Stephen Herrick and that stars Alex Winter, Keanu Reeves, George Carlin, Terry Camilleri, Dan Shore, and Tony Steenman. And that movie is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Okay, so this movie has just started, and so far we have seen the first appearance of our titular characters Bill Preston and Ted Logan, who are played by Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves respectively, and who are also both much younger than they are right now. That is interesting, I would say. Ooh, looks like they are in danger of failing a history class. That sounds really serious, I would imagine. Look at that! A phone booth time machine, and Rufus, a secondary character played by the late great George Carlin, stepped out of it. Maybe he can help them out on their history class. Oh, now Rufus is taking Bill and Ted on a time-traveling adventure in that phone booth time machine, and their first historical stop is Austria in 1805. Now they are taking Napoleon with them when he was invading it. Speaking of which, Napoleon here is played by Terry Camilleri. Now Bill and Ted have gone to what is today New Mexico in 1879. There they have come across Billy the Kid, who mind you was one of the most notorious outlaws of the Wild West. And here he is played by Dan Shore. Bill and Ted's next stop in their time traveling journey is ancient Greece. And now they have met Socrates who is one of the great philosophers there and he is here played by Tony Steenman. Now they are in 15th century England and dressed up like knights in shining armor there they certainly know how to dress with the attire of the day whenever they travel back and forth in time. They were just saved from execution by their historical figure friends, Billy the Kid and Socrates. Execution was a pretty brutal punishment in 15th century England, after all. Bill and Ted are now going for extra credit by taking other historical figures along with them on their time trip. And they are Sigmund Freud, Ludwig van Beethoven, Joan of Arc, Genghis Khan, and the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, to be exact. Oops! Napoleon just took a slip at a bowling alley. In reality, bowling alleys weren't around yet in Napoleon's day, so no wonder he wasn't very good at bowling here. Bill and Ted are now taking their historical figure friends around present-day San Dimas, including the water park that is there, which in reality would be Raging Water San Dimas, except here it is called Waterloo. Yikes! All these historical figures have gotten themselves in trouble with the law and also got arrested and sent to jail. That's a too bad. Bill and Ted have successfully rescued their historical figure friends from jail, which is fortunate for them. As this adventure draws to a close, it looks like all is well, as Bill and Ted successfully passed their history class, and the historical figures they took with them have been returned to their actual time periods and homes, and Rufus is congratulating them for their success. Overall, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure is a silly time travel adventure packed with hilarious moments that is also entertaining. Join me next time when I review Jurassic Park 3. I'm Flick James Flick, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent out there.